Yo, this is DJ, the eBay Pirate. Give me some more tips and advice on how to stay alive on eBay. Now, as some of you may have heard, eBay is very slowly moving towards a free listing model. John Don was using Buy.com as a guinea pig so he could find out what happens when you offer free listings to sellers. Well, no shit, you're going to get a lot of listings and a miserable sell-through rate. Buy.com's sell-through rate was approximately 3%. That's right, 3%. Not a lot. The average final value fee they were paying is somewhere in the 10 to 15% range. What's very interesting is a quick check over to Buy.com's home site shows you that you could buy the exact same item that they were selling on eBay on their own site for 10 to 15% less. So Buy.com was doing exactly what eBay prohibits the rest of us from doing. That is, offering the same product on our own website for less money. Now John Don wants to make the entire site free. Can we say Spam Central? I will, for sure, dump hundreds, if not thousands of extra listings on eBay. And I am only one seller. Well, one seller with a few extra accounts, but hey, who's keeping count? Free listings, however, do come with a price. Look forward to your final value fees being raised in the 10 to 15% range or higher. This will bring eBay more in line with their god, Amazon.com. Oh, Amazon. Now, my apologies for not posting a video in about a week. However, I got wind of some of these changes and decided to hold off on making a video till I actually saw the email from eBay. Now, one of my predictions has now come to pass. You can only use PayPal on eBay effective in a couple of months. That's right. No more credit cards, no more money orders, no more checks, no other payments other than PayPal. Well, they do allow ProPay. However, quick check on the website, ProPay actually charges more than eBay. Hmm, now why would they allow a site that charges more than they do? Now add to that, final value fees on your entire total, including shipping and handling, are also up and coming. One issue that I was wondering about is there are strict rules that relate to collecting a commission on the collection of a sales tax. I'm rather curious to see how eBay and PayPal is going to handle that, since if they are including the sales tax and shipping in your final value fee calculation, they are essentially taking a cut of the sales tax. Hmm. Now on to some recent events. Uh, eBay is also suspending temporarily the power seller discounts. This is after some uh, allegations, uh, that is truth, that uh, eBay is manipulating the DSR results. What eBay didn't realize is there are plenty of people who are better at math than eBay is. Basically, eBay lowered DSR ratings on many sellers straight across the board, including results that were mathematically impossible. Basically, they just took it too far, and they got caught. Seller DSRs were being lowered by a full point with just one transaction, which was mathematically impossible. When eBay sellers individually approached eBay, they were told that it was simply a quirk unique to their accounts. Bullshit! Through the magic of the eBay and other boards, sellers quickly discovered that they were being gang raped by eBay. For me, what solidified eBay's guilty conscience is the elimination of any threads on the eBay boards that mention this matter. Now eBay, why would you take down a thread that is discussing an important and pertinent issue related to the functionality of the site? Why would you do that? Well, unless you're guilty of it. That's why. Believe it or not, as I write this, there are some sellers with DSR ratings as high as 5.5. Now you ask, how do you get a 5.5 on a 5 point scale? I don't know either. Ask eBay. They're doing some funky math. Now expect this PayPal only policy to be enforced, maybe even by Christmas, though historically they usually wait till after the 25th to enforce any major changes. The Australian federal government and Google protested when eBay tried to enforce a PayPal only in Australia. However, Australia has a law that actually prevents a PayPal only eBay in Australia. While a court challenge might be possible here in the US, who's going to pay for it? Google? Eh, we can only hope. Coupled with eBay's non-existent seller protection policy, you can look forward to many high quality sellers leaving eBay and taking their high value, high quality goods with them. They'll also be taking their high quality buyers with them as well. There is a reason that some sellers only accept money orders as payment. That's because their goods are often targeted for fraud and money orders offer a secure way to receive payment. That's the reason some people only accept non-reputable payments, John, and uh, you really don't want to take that option away from them, or they'll simply stop selling those goods on eBay. And that's just another reason for high-quality sellers to leave eBay, and they are doing so in droves. Now, John, these are the type of sellers that you need to stay in business, okay? This is not optional, John. These are the type of quality sellers that you need to have on eBay to stay in business, and you are kicking them out. Now, on that note, be sure to see my video to see how an unscrupulous buyer can get almost any item on eBay for free with eBay's assistance and without a credit card. It's pretty cool. And remember, 
Say thank you, John. Now on a side note, eBay needs to spend some major money on buyer education. And I don't mean telling people how to place bids or brainwashing them to thinking that they can only use eBay and they should only pay by PayPal. I'm not talking about that shit. I mean understanding that most sellers are small, non-corporate sellers. Buyers should not expect to be able to return an item because they don't like the color. Walmart, this isn't. To understand that technical support may not be available and should not be expected. To understand that most sellers do not sit by their computer and wait for their email to come in so they can answer the question that they should have asked two days ago when they added the item to their watch list but decided to wait until the last five minutes of the listing. Genius, huh? To understand that the vast majority of goods sold on eBay are used and will exhibit various levels of wear and tear. Yeah, that 30 year old radio that you got, hey, uh, don't be upset if it has a few scratches. It's 30 frickin' years old. Expect eBay to turn into even more of a yard sale than it already is. Because realistically, you can't sell new goods at the margins that eBay wants to enforce on people. John Don, pick up a book if you need to. Research what kinds of businesses and industries support the kind of margins that you are trying to get from your sellers. You're going to find that very few sellers can or will support the 15% margins that you are trying to extort from them. Most businesses simply don't have it. It's simple economics, guy. Now some of you have suggested some topics and I'm researching some of these topics as we speak. I apologize again for having taken a few days to post another video. But there's a lot of things going on on eBay this week as well as in the real world. So I had to take a step back figure out what I was going to talk about, and then put it up. So, my apologies, I'll try to put up at least one or two videos a week from now on. I'm going to continue to tell it as I see it. Be sure to subscribe and rate. This is DJ the eBay Pirate. Peace out.